Hey guys, Brooksy Tech here, and today I'm doing a quick video on a motherboard I just picked up for a future build. Um, I've heard a lot of negative uh, things on online about picking up an A320 motherboard, but you know, I figured for about 50 bucks, um, I you know give give them a check out. This is the A320M HDV Revision 4 by ASRock. Um, you know, this would be great for a budget build with like a 1600 AF or similar chip. Um, it, you can't overclock with these boards, but I think it has a lot of features for what you're paying for it. They range from about fifty to sixty dollars. I think I paid uh, fifty-three dollars from Amazon. Um, not a bad deal. And as you can see, it, it is Ryzen uh, three thousand ready, so the BIOS that comes on these boards uh, will support something like a thirty-two hundred G or you know thirty-six hundred. Um, you know, great value if you're really wanting to build a budget system. And I think if you know, you don't care about overclocking or you need a bunch of expansion slots, this could actually be a good um, board for you. So first let's take a look at the box. So, you know, as, as you can see, it's the Ryzen 3000 desktop ready, and this is actually a sticker. So it's on there. And then, so on the um, side here, we have the A320 HDV Revision 4 by ASRock um, with the serial number, um, same on this side. Uh, and then on this side, looks like we have uh, you know, like just a barcode, um, California, USA only information, uh, the title again. And then on the back here, we have say an M.2 slot, um, 4K, 2K ready, um, kind of just the IO, Windows 10, picture of the board, just some monitor support and uh, just a few other features. And let's go ahead and take a look at inside the box here. Um, so we do have um, just a standard metal IO shield. Um, we got uh, two SATA cables, they actually look pretty short, so not getting the long cables for the money. Um, and then we have a CPU manual, kind of going over the uh, features of the board. Um, a little M.2 screw there, that's always nice to have. I don't, I don't know why they don't just include these um, pre-screw in the board, but hey, it's nice to have it. And then uh, a driver's CD that we will never use. Funny that they even include these as most builds don't even use uh, DVDs anymore. In fact, it'd be kind of cool if they started including little flash drives. I know those would be more expensive, but um, I think I have seen some other boards include that. Um, then going in the box, we have just a cardboard protection and then uh, just the board itself in an anti-static bag. So let's go ahead and take a look here. All right, so here is um, kind of a close-up of the board. Um, pretty basic. Um, you know, no VRM cooling, as you'll notice, but we do have a four pin CPU here and then just your standard uh, AM4 socket. Um, looks like C for CPU fans, we have, uh, you know, a CPU fan or a system fan one. Uh, we have a CPU fan up here. Here's a three pin. So these are going to be the four pin and then a three pin. Kind of a bummer that it's only a, a three pin. Um, Going over to the back here, so we have your standard USB 2.0, um, just you know your old PS2 port, DVI, VGA, HDMI, and then four USB 3.0 ports. I think these are only the 3.0, not the 3.0. One, we got our um, standard network jack, um, gigabit speeds, and then just your audio ports here. Um, let's see, going over some of the others, we have a PCI 1X slot, um, a PCI 16X slot and an M.2 uh, slot here. Um, I do believe it supports up to uh, PCI Gen 3 4X speeds as long as you have a Ryzen processor. If you're going with something a little slower, one of the cheaper chips, I don't think um, it'll support um, those speeds, but I think it also depends on the um, uh, chip itself and then oh here's a little sticker probably over the bios chip right here saying it comes with p uh, 3.3 so that's nice to know we can go online and check see what the latest revision is and if the uh, newer bio bios is available we'll definitely want to update that um, and then going over here we have the hd audio 
and some of the audio capacitors. Um, looks like a clear BIOS. Um, I believe this is like for the old style printer serial port. Um, we have the COM port. Um, let's see, maybe speaker looks like. And then just your standard, you know, LED power reset switch, etc. Two USB um, 2.0 headers, a USB 3.0 front panel header, and just your standard ATX and two uh, RAM slots. Now I know I've heard the A320 only supports up to 266 memory speed, but um, I think I was seeing online, or maybe it says in the BIOS, that this actually will support um, faster memory with uh, overclocking. So that is good to know. And then just, you know, we have our four standard uh, SATA ports. But, you know, I think for the money, you know, like I said, if you're not planning on overclocking, this can be a great kind of just budget board. Um, you know, no, no th extra features, but, you know, for a lot of people, they just want to, you know, create a computer and, uh, you know, get it working. But, you know, I hope you found this video uh, useful and, you know, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. All right. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye.